Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Tish Duck, and I have my pal, my buddy, my friend, Chris from Pour Me Another. Hello, Chris. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Chris? Oh, wow. It's been a day, let me tell you. <laughs> Only within like the last 10 minutes has it been a day, but. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes is just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to throw your whole day in the crapper. Thumbs up. To, hey, mm. but you got your beer, right? Mm-hmm. And there you go. Mm -hmm. That's all we need, beer and paint. And, and backups. <laughs> and backups. He's even got backup. Wow. I don't even, I'm not even that prepared. <laughs> backup for the backup. Backup for the backup for the backup. <laughs> so, Chris, please introduce yourself for those who are not, are new to the channel or new to your new channel. My new channel. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, previously of Desert Force. Unfortunately, that channel is gone, and I decided to start another channel, and here I am. And here you are. Yay, you didn't give up, stubborn. Almost, <laughs> almost. I was I was a little bit heated, but yeah. just yeah. keep going on. Yeah, that's all you can do, right? Yep. Plus, I was so bored not painting. <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, when, when they told me that somebody was claiming that my videos were theirs and the whole channel's under investigation now, um, they took my monetization, They like 27 of my videos somebody claimed in one day were their own. And so I just, while they're doing their thing, I'm doing mine, so... Well, that's that's a proactive way to be. Instead of being reactive, you're proactive, and that's, awesome. that's totally, totally awesome. So what are you going to be doing tonight, Starter? I am going to try and do a spiral Dutch pour. A what a waha? Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, I am. I might be more distracted watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw it on somebody else's channel. Um, it's a small channel. They've got like, I don't know, forty subscribers or something. She's pretty new. Her name's Michelle Renee. Okay. It's Michelle Renee Art, but it's spelled Michelle's spelled with an S. Okay. M I S H E L L E. Um, okay. And I saw one of her videos last week, and she did this, and I was like, that looks so cool. Very cool. I'm excited. So, to see. so we'll have to find her channel and put it in the description box, because you know how we are. We support all, all the artists. Right so, on. Um, well, I found a dollar store, and there are three of them for a dollar. I'm like, well, if I screw them up, it's only a dollar. But they have these little clips on the back of them. So, and they're made out of styrofoam. So I took the clips out and I took the little semi guy out because it's just, you know, this kind of stuff. I put them in a little baggie so I don't lose them because, you know me, I'd lose my mind if it wasn't attached. And I made, I took a big push pin and put it in a cup. And that's how I have these other ones held together. So, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna pour over these guys on a tile and then I'll use the same whoop, I'll use the same cup to do a flip cup um, or something. I don't know. I'm just going with it. Just some stuff. See what just some stuff will happen. If I could get them to be kind of straight, it would be really nice. But they don't want to go in straight. Doesn't want to go in at all. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Anytime. <laughs> so who do we have in chat real quick? Well, let's see. Tonight on Tish Talk, uh, there is Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Yay! Uh, 
Lady Miss joining us tonight. As always, glad to see you. Um, let's see. There's Jan, Serendipity Soul Fluid Art. Hey, Jan. Hello, Jan. And also joining us tonight is... Let's see. Oh, none other than Sue Ashworth from Down Under. Hey, Sue. Hey, Sue. Hey, Sue. And let's see. <laughs> scrolling, 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 seeing who else we've got here. Tonight. Keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, keep them <laughs> scrolling, scrolling. Uh, there's oh, Gina. Hi, we have <laughs> Gina Vinci. Hey, Gina. <laughs> and we've got Trey there from Max World Entertainment. Hey, Trey. Hey, little brother. And Hello. Uh, let's see. We got tonight. I've got both my brothers here. I've got my little big brother and yeah. I've got my little little brother. Well, oh, there's Doris. Brother. Hey, Doris. Doris at DF Design. Hello, Doris. Well, hello. Laura hey, is Doris. here. There is Laura. Hello, um, Laura. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, hey, Jeff B. Hey, old Jeff B. Hey, Jeff. And there's my cousin Diane. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. Good to see her in one piece. <laughs> Definitely. She in the storm zone? Yeah, she's in the storm zone. Yep, she's in an area just outside of Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There's Clara. Hey, Clara. Clara. <laughs> and Carol's here tonight. Hey, Carol. And let's see, is there anyone else that, oh, hey, Julie's here. Hey, Julie. Hello, Julie. Hey, Julie. We've created a monster with Julie, I think, though. She's going to be on our Palooza again next week, or this, tomorrow, next week. Goodness gracious, I'm putting the bulb before the game here. Jeez. Well, maybe she'll be on tomorrow and next week and the week after that. And the week after that, she's going to be And, and the so week on. after that. And, and then yeah, she told two of her friends. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's everyone tonight for what I'm saying. Oh, hey, D&D &D Art Gallery. That hey, Deb. I believe. Yeah, Deb. Hey, Deb. It's hard to keep track of everybody. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this name and then there. Because I, I, I'm sorry, Chris. You will forever and always be Mr. Desert Man in my heart and in my mind. Because that's yeah, I, that's okay. That's okay. When, 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 when you wouldn't give us your name, you just is like, you know, Desert Horse. <laughs> <laughs> so I just started calling him Mr. Desert Man because I couldn't call him Desert Horse. It just was weird. So he'll always and forever be that in my brain. Because Chris was like, I don't know that I want to give my name. <laughs> Well, you got to say that my first uh, experience with the whole Tish movement, um, I clicked in and there was Astroglide everywhere. And I was like, what? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the days, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been like a year now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been going live almost a year straight. So it's October. October 5th, I think, was when I started my live streaming every day. But look yeah. what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it handy, just in case. So, this yeah. Is to be. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, being as this is supposed to be an interview, not just a chit chat thing, because you know you and I could talk and art and drink beer all night. Hey, I I we can chit chat and drink beer. I'm good with that. <laughs> but I do have questions and a light, a new lightning round for you. So, you know, oh. just, talk, well, I think I, I think I kind of cheated on the last time I was on for this because I most of my answers were both. <laughs> <laughs> pancakes or cookies both you know whatever it was i was just like both on almost everything so <laughs> but both is good pancakes are good waffles are good i i had right? two waffles for a snack earlier because i was hungry but i knew dinner was coming and so i popped in a couple of eggos and just 
I ate them on the fly. Who needs syrup? <laughs> okay, so me, I, got, I do. I, <laughs> I, on egg waffles, I can, I can, I can go without syrup on egg waffles. Now, like regular waffles, like 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 the fluffy waffles, yeah, I need syrup on them. Egg waffles just get like I don't know, like comish. They're like I don't know, they get hard. But anyway, yes, <laughs> that's what she said. But. <laughs> I have five questions for you, Chris, just because you've already gone through this one before. I don't have the full litany of questions, but there were a few that I went through today that I'd like to like to know, you know, you don't have to go in deep. We don't have to be like all delving our 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 true stories or whatever. So right on. number one is what is art to you? Art to me. Oh, wow. Um, come out hard with these questions already. <laughs> you didn't, didn't even give me a heads up. You just like, bam. Uh, art to me, it, it, art can be really anything. Um, you know, whether it's painting or singing, dancing, interpretive dance. Um, it, it, to me, I, I think a lot of different things can be art. Um, I, I, don't even know how to explain it. Um, just everything. I, I think that if it's art to you in some way, then it, it's art. So. Okay. That's, that's a fair enough answer. Just I, anything creative. I mean, it's it, being a mechanic can be an art. I mean, look at, look at these guys that build these hot rods and choppers. That's art. That is art. So, that's, a, that's a definite skill that I don't have. So yeah, I, I'm I'm behind you on that one. All right, hang on one second. I'm almost done with this one. I should have like put my list. I had to handwrite a list because I, I didn't have a printer hooked up. So I'm like handwriting all the questions down. So I did my homework before I did this. Okay, we're gonna do this and this and this and this and swirly gig and swirly gig and swirly gig, and it's not covering. I'm just gonna make it cover. <laughs> so all right. Um number two. What hey, what is your favorite PG thirteen cringe worthy word? PG thirteen Cringeworthy word. Mm. Yes, because we got to keep it PG 13 on the channel, you know. I don't think I have a cringeworthy word. Really? There's not a word that you just don't like. And besides the N word? No. Really? Yeah. Yeah, any, any, any kind of derogatory word like that, you know. Yeah, that, respect that. I, I, yeah, I don't like those, but like moist or anything like that? No. <laughs> you have to go there. Thanks for that. Now, uh, if somebody, if I see somebody in the parking lot with their windshield wipers up on their windshield and the car's off, that drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That that would that would be a little bit, yeah. Like just really wait crowded. the extra half second for your windshield to go down or your windshield wiper to go down. You <laughs> yeah. just don't get it. I don't either. All right, let's set those over there. Well, I cannot find my dioxazine purple. <gasps> Sacrilege. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's way over there. Hold on a second. <laughs> So as far as the M word goes, kind of stirred up some stuff in the chat right now. So <laughs> now we've got, oh, got it. this here, Dina Designs. Hey, Dina. <laughs> so, hey, Dina. Dina. Yeah. So I don't know. She's she's talking about maybe saying it, saying the M word. Oh, but, and no. everyone's double dog daring her and do, like, don't do it. And like, ooh. <laughs> do <laughs> it. Do it. Do yeah. It. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not my favorite word. Not my favorite word at all. 
Well, these don't want to cover, so I might have to pour over that one again. We'll see what happens. Gravity might come to my rescue. Okay. Are you back with your purple? I'm back. Got it. Okay. So, if you could talk or create to anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, uh, wow. Um, I would have to say my grandmother. Because she died when I was right. fairly young. And I tell you, there's not a day I don't step out in the backyard and look at my plants and stuff and think of my grandmother. Because she had the greenest green thumb of anybody. Yeah. But just, yeah, it would have to be my grandmother. That's kind of cool. I mean, that's really cool. I, I, I get that. My grandma, from what I remember, had a pretty killer garden, too. Maybe it's just a grandma thing. I don't know. Well, she lived, she lived in, like, an old house um, in town, per se, but not, like, downtown. But she had one of those old houses that still had property. It wasn't a huge property, but it was probably like a half an acre. But she lived in the city limits. Okay. And she had, I mean, like her garden took up half of her yard. And it was just for, you know, a 10-year-old, it was a huge garden. But there, right. I don't think there wasn't anything that she couldn't, yeah, grow. She couldn't grow. And it was just, it was just awesome. And she passed away when you were how old? She passed away when I was like 12. She had cancer. Aww. And she died when, oh gosh, I want to say she was like not even 60 yet. Oh, wow. That's young. Yeah. So, my grandmother. That's final answer. Final answer? Final answer. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what is a medium that you have wanted to explore? Uh, gosh, there's lots of stuff. Um, still haven't done resin yet. Uh, alcohol inks, haven't done those yet. Um, I... Honestly, and I have right over here, when they said they were doing my stuff to the Desert Course channel, I went and got blacksmithing stuff. What? And I have a forge, and I have an anvil over here, and I got my quench tank Shut over up. there, and the hammers and stuff. I've never forged anything in my life, but darn it, I was going to try it. I still think you could. That'd be awesome. I did make a knife, but I haven't. I didn't forge it. I used a, a file and a cutting wheel and just cut it how I wanted it. I just haven't tempered it and heat treated it yet. Well, Chris, what is something that you think you would like to forge? Um, uh, uh, like an axe. Something would be awesome, like a Viking, axe Viking or like bearded, a bearded axe or you know a sax or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, and be kind of kind of battle worthy, right? Yeah, yeah. But still classic. I mean, it's not anything. Or yeah, I love recurves. Um, mm -hmm. Anything really, just to just to try it. Well, but it's, it's too darn hot here. <laughs> can't, can't stand in front of a fire that long. Well, maybe you know, get into the fall winter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is. I don't know. I think it's like 112 today, and it's probably 120 in my garage. <laughs> Somehow, oh my <laughs> I don't know how, but it's hot. I have the the swamp cooler going, and it's not making a bit of difference. And it's been on all day. Oh my goodness, you're such a trooper. Things I do for you, Tish. I tell you. I know it's love. It's, it's, it's sibling love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So last, last question that I really have for you is other than the lightning round, cause we're going to do that again is what was your biggest adventure 
in, in art, in your personal life, and whatever? Um, biggest adventure, honestly, I think I'm living it right now. Um, being out of the military and just having life, and I've been out of the military for a while, but I worked when from the day I got out till like three or four years ago till I like retired fully um, with disabilities and stuff like that, that I just couldn't work anymore. But that, it, that takes some getting used to. So, and having a six year old granddaughter to boot, <laughs> it's just like, what? Cause she comes up with some crazy things. <laughs> I ought to be six again, right? Whew. <laughs> and she's smart as a whip and wow, she's just hilarious every day. <laughs> ah, I don't miss having kids. I don't miss having kids. I really don't. I mean, I do. I tell myself I don't. Kids make life interesting. So I, I, I you know, you tell stories of your granddaughter and I hear Brooke's stories of her little miss and it's like, yep, that's it. That, that's all I needed. Just a story. Now I don't remember why I don't have little kids. <laughs> Because, yep, nope, don't need that in my life. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to have to put that link to that girl's channel in the description below. If she gets some views on her channel. Because that's how I roll around here. Like most of you know. I gotta figure out divide before I do the other three. I gotta figure out a different way to do this because this isn't working as well as I thought it would. As soon as I get the paint on there, it just wants to flow right up. Actually, you know what? I gotta maybe I want to do it like this. Oops. See, it just wants to do its own thing. Maybe I should have primed them. The pumpkins? The pumpkins, yeah. Yeah, it probably would have primed them a little. I don't have any primer with me, though. I'll have to go to Menards to get some. It does look kind of cool, though. It's just... Maybe if I stuck it... Hey, there's an idea. Where they go? There they are. I know I have these old towels. Maybe I stuck something in there. Maybe I stuffed it full. Because I just want to lean to the one side and I try and make it better and it makes it worse. <laughs> Gravity takes over. We got an artist boost. Who is that from? That is from Trey, Max from World Trey. Entertainment. Thanks, Trey. Trey. Thank we really you appreciate so that. <laughs> Trey says, Disco Davo. Disco Davo. Yeah. Okay. Well, Mother of Mercy. Hey, listen to me. I didn't even swear. Okay. Well,. I'm just dipping it. Oh, see? It's not working. All right, hang on a second. Let's try something else. Well, let's try something else. Let's try cleaning off my hands first. Let's take a look at what Chris has got did, going on here. Did you say cutting off your hand? <laughs> I'm about ready to. Well, I don't see any sharp objects around. So <laughs> no, there's no sharp. There's okay. no sharp objects. It's it's safe. Well, relatively safe. All right. So Clara is, is saying, "I'm giggling, Tish. What was your original plan? Because I have no idea." <laughs> Well, I had them sitting, and they were sitting all nice and neat on top of 
the thingies, but as soon as I poured paint, then they just kind of went all kinds of wonky. So I was trying to like, be yeah, all I just don't think that, that material wants to. It doesn't. The, grab. the paint doesn't want to stick. No. And then the foam just wants to break, and so I have, a, I have an idea, but no, it's gonna revolve. It's gonna. I just wanted the bottom to look nice too. Hey, can so. you mute me for a little bit? Sure. I'll wave profusely when I'm done. Okay. He's gonna he's have not. his hair dryer going because he's doing a Dutch pour. Yeah. So he's being considerate and kind. So what's going on in chat, Michael? Well, let's see. Uh, we got a little bit of what we're talking about tonight. Later, we are going to have Doris. We'll be there on Trey's channel, Max World Entertainment. Right after this, it will be starting at 8 p.m. Central Time, so don't miss out on that. There is going to be a giveaway tonight, so it will be a lot of fun, good times. And let's see, what else we got going on here? Hmm. Oh, let's see. Jan's been talking about her granddaughter. I think they were talking about when Chris was forging things and they were talking about horseshoes and shoeing horses and whether the horses had horseshoes or whether they went barefooted. <laughs> so let's see. Nakey, Nakey horsey feet. <laughs> Jan, is that is that what your granddaughter called them? Nakey? Nakey horsey feats. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, there's Monica. Hey, Monica. I think she's sneaking in here tonight. Oh, there's Nicole. Hey, Hello, Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> Elisa. Hello, Elisa. So the question is, what colors did you use tonight? Oh, um, this is, let's see. This one is the um, marmalade, the Arteza marmalade. This is 24 karat gold from um, Deco, whatever it's called. And this is the lime green iridescent paint. Okay, so this is the lime green pearl paint, and this is the lime green iridescent paint. This is what I expected this to be, was more lime green. This to me is more of a mint color. So if you're looking for mint, there's your, there's your bet. So um, we're going to let those go. Yeah. I'm going to take out this guy. Oh, there's uh, my fox's baby cakes. Hello, Cynthia. And let's see who else sneaked in here. Oh, and then I have um, metallic leaf green and Liquitex Basics graphite, and that's Windsor Newton. Mars black. There we go. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Creative escapes. There's Kim. Hey, Kim. Hello, Kim. Yay! Yay! Is Chris waving profusely yet? I think so. Yep. Yep. He's good. Okay. There we go. Chris, we got you back. All right. All right. All right. I, I forgot. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, there's Angela. Hey, Angela. Hello. Hey, Angela. All right. Did you bring him back on mm -hmm. screen? Yep, sure did. Well, I've got yeah, a I've there. got a delay on my side, so. Oh, that's right. Because I don't get I don't get to see my monitor yet. We need to buy that adapter. Thursday, we'll work on that. Tomorrow, 
Okay. I kind of like those. Not so sure about the pumpkins, but hey, it's a dollar plus whatever it costs me for pumpkins. So, well, cheapers, creepers. I think this is going crazy over there. I can't see very well enough. I'm going about you. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, dude. That is epic. Okay, so now we need to find that video. I'm going to find that video and put it in the description so we can see what hers look like and see what your interpretation is. And So Chris Sue was asking... Can you please show the bottom part of your airbrush? Bottom part? Bottom part. This? This? Yes, so. It looks like a, is that the air filter? It's the moisture it's the filter, moisture. Yeah. yeah. So you have it built in instead of further down the line. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, well, it's if it gets air or if you get moisture trapped in your line, and right. it's not dry when you put it on at the compressor end. By the time it gets up here, it still goes through your gun and messes up your paint. So I put it right here so it stops it before it gets to the gun. Yep. But you have an actual air compressor air compressor. You don't have one of those little hobby air compressors. It's a little hobby air compressor. I haven't hooked it up to my big boy compressor yet. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is it's, it's, it's not a glorified fish tank thing. Oh, no, no. It's, it's a small little yeah. compressor yeah. for airbrushing. It's, but, yeah, like, no, it's not one of those one gallon. nail. It's, it's not even a gallon. It goes, and every time I push the button, that's it. That's all the air I get. And then it recompresses, and it's, it's super quick, though. It refills pretty good. And I get good pressure out of it, so. Until my paint starts to dry like this. Because it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad. Now I feel like I need to buy a beer. <laughs> I just got some today. Go figure. Oh, wow. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, while I pour me another. Ha 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 ha. Huh? It was funny because I was looking for your channel when you first told me the, the channel name. And I was like, I, everything was, was pour me another beer, pour me another drink, pour me another. And I was like, okay, these don't look like Chris's channels, but they don't like <laughs> Or songs of pour me another something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is not cool. What the hell? I need to find what I need to find. So, no. It's cool, though. I have songs stuck in my head though. But yeah, for um, those of you who don't know who Chris is and don't know his channel, I put a link in the description box below so you can go su subscribe and see the awesomeness that is Chris. Because, well, we've been hanging out since like last, like, no, October, November. So. You've been on Artapalooza a handful of times. We've done another Tish Talk, but that was back before you, you had someone attack your channel. Ass hats. It's like sister mode kicked in. I'm like, who did it? Who did it? I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna hurt him. Who's messing with my brother? That's you know, the redhead. The redhead comes out. So Anywho, well, we'll see how those dry. Maybe once they kind of get tacky, maybe I'll flip them upside down. We'll see. So, did you lose Chris? Nope, he's still there. Or you just muted? 
No, oh, no. We lost Chris. No, we lost Chris. Yep. Well, golly jeepers. Oops. <laughs> right when you asked, he was like, no, it's fine. It's like, nope. He's in his garage and it's like 500 degrees and he doesn't have the best Wi Fi out there. And. And it's just a little bit hairy. So he might be back. He, he'll be back. If not, we'll have to. So we wanted to thank Jan for the donation. Thank you, Jan. Greatly appreciate it. Is that what I got on my phone? Is that why it? I think so. I think she actually, Jan did something different. She went through uh, Kofi. I'm not going to be able to see. Yeah, see, that's why Betty Poop. Yep. Yep. Come through on PayPal. Oh, look Thank at that. You. We have Jan and we have Dina and we have Angela all today. Today's oh. the 4th, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. That's so awesome. You guys are... Well, I'm going to go buy some paint. Yay! Yay! I'm going to go buy some paint. Yeah, country Wi-Fi. I can relate. Yeah, exactly, Clara. Just want others to know how easy it is to do. The artist gets to keep more of the donation. Yep. Actually, the best way to help me out is to sign up through Patreon because Patreon takes the least amount of money. PayPal takes a big chunk. Not big chunk. Not as big as, as YouTube does, but because um, I've worked with PayPal a little bit to get mine a little bit better. But, um, but Patreon helps me the most, and but I appreciate every penny because it all everything that you guys give to me goes right back into paint, goes right back into flow troll, goes right back into canvases, you know things I you know that I need to bring you guys content. So it's not like I'm living large and you know driving a Lamborghini or something. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever even drive a Lamborghini. They're weird cars. They handle weird. I don't like him. Well, let's give Chris a couple more minutes to see if he comes back. If not, we'll be sad because we didn't get to do the lightning round. So maybe we'll have to talk him into coming into article onto article. He tomorrow night just so I can do the, the the lightning round and finish this up. Thank you, Angela. Yes, I saw that. Let's see. Yes, all, I appreciate everything that you guys sent to me, really, truly, it helps. I have a, I ha, a hello, my name is Tish, and I have a paint addiction. <laughs> so I Tracy think, was asking about maybe doing some close-ups. Do so. a close-up? I don't know if you want to see these close-up. They're not kind of, I don't know. I said, we're going to see how they dry, because that's how I am. I just, these are actually tiles that I soaked. And we got uh, Mike here tonight uh, of Creator Spotlight. He's Hello, saying Mike. starving artist of Lamborghini. I'd have ah! to, I'd, <laughs> I can afford a Matchbox Lamborghini, maybe. <laughs> but there's one. That one turned out kind of cool. I like that one. And I'm not going to move the pumpkins. I will, once I dry tomorrow, I'll, whether they're good or they're bad, I will post a picture tomorrow morning. Um, of, of those. And these ones I just kind of smushed together. Hang on, I'm going to take a little bit of this paint and we're going to just kind of drape it over the edge of this corner. I didn't torch these at all just because it's so close to the... Oh, there he is! Yep. Ta-da! I ain't working on it. Oh, oop, it, oop. Uh -oh. I'll give him a little bit of time to yeah. get to uh, get situated. There we go. Uh -oh. Another one. Do you leave again? Yeah. Yeah. Bummer. Wait a minute. No, he's back. Oh, he's back. This one turned out cool, though. That one I kind of like. 
got this one little spot though. Let's take the stick. Let's take the stick and go. Bloop. There we go. Don't need that there. Okay, kind of looks like a frog or an alligator or something weird now, but it looks kind of cool. It dripped where I didn't want it to drip. Story of my life. And just to let you know that Jan got into Patreon and <gasps> she's actually joined up. So, awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Outstanding. I appreciate that that you know that has been something that i've been working on and it's it's very confusing for me because i am not a computer person but i figured it out and i'm getting it going so um i might start doing patreon only live streams as i cut back on my live streams on my channel um so get in now while the getting's good yeah, I'm excited to see how they dry, Tracy. They're, I, I love these colors. Okay. <laughs> there he is, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Right. Hello. My, my Samsung overheated and I had to run in and grab my iPhone quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Sounds like we need to do the lightning pour, lightning pour. Hey, we should do that, a lightning Chris, pour. Chris, are you all? Right. Are you all right there? <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Lightning round. Really, really fast. Okay. So here we go. 13 questions. This or that questions. Give me your answer. It can be either or or both. You can you can cheat and say both. I don't know if you're gonna say both on some of these though, but we'll see. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, number one, country music or rock music? Oh, both. Yeah. Oh, sorry, right out of the gate. I know. <laughs> Number two, drive or fly? Drive. Woo! Oh, Number yeah. <laughs> Number three, corn chips or potato chips? Potato chips. <laughs> yeah. You're grease. You need grease and salt, right? <laughs> Number four, Christmas or Halloween? Halloween every day i have a harry potter christmas tree in my foyer yeah. <laughs> that stays up year round <laughs> see you're ah, not that weird <laughs> see that's not unusual at all chris will talk later <laughs> right. mr star trek anyway <laughs> number five dawn or dusk uh dusk we have the best sunsets here sunrises are okay but sunsets are amazing out here in arizona some pictures yes i have to agree number six tacos or burgers oh gosh um i like i don't i hate taco bell i despise taco bell um but if i could go like to mexico and get a fresh mexican taco i take a taco over a burger but we have in and out Burger here, and those are the best burgers in the world. So, either or. Both. Both, he says. <laughs> Number seven, art festivals or music festivals? Ah, both. Come on, Tish. You got to give me a good description. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number eight. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> my fun tonight. <laughs> I still love you. It's okay. Number nine, cake or pie? Dessert, both. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought you would have a favorite considering you're a pastry chef like me. Right. I don't like pie. I love it. Oh, 
blueberry pie, pumpkin pie, cherry pie. Mm -hmm. I even I, like lemon meringue. It's good stuff. Oh, meringue is amazing, but I, I, I love a meringue every once in a while. Other than that, not so big on, on pie. Or uh, what is that? Sour cream, sour cream raisin pie. Mm -hmm. Nope, like never it. even heard of that one. That's gross. Oh, it's good. It's actually really good. It's kind of custardy and it's that good. sounds horrible. It, it's very good. Shush, you've never even had it. How would you know? <laughs> okay, number 10, purple or red? Uh, purple. Okay. Number but, 11. Yeah, <laughs> purple. Purple, yeah, you better say purple. <laughs> you said Star Wars, you better say purple. <laughs> number 11, organized or chaos? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I think you. I think you need a little bit of both in your life. Yep. Sometimes okay. you need a little chaos just to just to wake you up. <laughs> Are you awake now after yeah, all this? I, I'm awake. <laughs> I just had to run across the house for an iPhone. <laughs> I don't run for anything except another beer. <laughs> or to the bathroom. Number twelve. The bathroom. Mayo or Miracle Whip. Uh. Mayo. <laughs> you had to think about it though. Okay, number 13. Last one. You ready? Ready. Action movies or comedy? Ah, uh, man. 80% action, 20% comedy. <laughs> or even better if they're action comedies, right? Like, 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 you know, something that has funny stuff in it, like Rush Hour or something like that. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, I could, yeah, an action comedy. Yeah. I, okay. I even do, like, rom-coms every now and then. But, you know, hey. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I just like movies in general, so, but action, yeah. All right, cool. Well, you see, you survived. You survived the lightning round. You're good. You're good. I don't. So will you post some pictures of the drive results on um, on the Facebook page? Uh, it, it'll be dry in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, yeah, huh? <laughs> well, we're not going to be here in an hour. Okay, so, fine. Yeah. I don't know how it goes. Twist the arm. Or... <laughs> Twisting your arm. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for doing this again, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck um, on your new channel. If there is anything I can ever do to help you with anything, um, or if you want to be on Artapalooza, or you want to just hang out and paint on a Saturday night, you just let me know. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking time and running across your house just to get an iPhone just to come back. That is love, and you enduring 110 degrees. That's really love. I hope you grabbed a quick beer on that run too. You know, <laughs> you have a quick beer. Hey, I also want to let you know that Max World Entertainment Trey has become a patron member. So yeah, thank right. you, Trey. Thank you, so thank you, thank you. Uh, I think now eight patrons is what Sue was saying. So. Wow. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I Yay! And y'all get a shout out on our Palooza. That is my day to shout you all out. So if you want to see your name on the big screen or little screen, tune in to our Palooza tomorrow night and it will be there. So without further delay, let's wrap this baby up and get on over to Trey's channel to say howdy, howdy to him. And because Doris is going live on his channel. Right. And um, meet us back here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time for Artapalooza, or as it's becoming known, Snortapalooza. Snortapalooza. <laughs> Snortapalooza, or as the little sound bite that I have of, of, of you is Night of a Thousand Snorts. <laughs> okay. The night of a thousand snorts. Yep. <laughs> so I appreciate you, Chris, for taking time and sweating your butt off for me. And hopefully we'll get you some more subscribers and get you back up 
on and roll in again. Um, go binge watch his content, y'all. Get him to his watch hours. He does amazing artwork, and he is a great guy, and I love him very, very much. So thank you, Chris. And y'all have a great night. Good night, Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining us. Remember, be kind to one another. And wear Peace your mask. Yes. And wear your mask and wash your hands. Wash, wash your hands. Wash, wash. your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>